said between three other other and farmers, you got about 4,500 hives. Uh, yeah, two other guys that I work with. That's part of it. And me. Here, hold this. <laughs> One's always funny. Never loses its humor. <laughs> So in just a single hive body like that, how many bees would you say would be in there? Thirty. Oh, we got a. That's quite a lot. Yeah. And they won't sting your hands when you hold that frame like that. Yeah, they will. They will. You just gotta smoke them. You just gotta be gentle with them. I used to wear gloves all the time, and when you wear gloves, you're more clumsy with what you're doing. Right. You know? Yeah. And I decided if I was really going to get to know my bees, I had to do it without gloves. Here's a queen right here. She's right there. No kidding. See her? Yeah. See the size of her? Well, where'd she go? See her? With the little wing. There you go. Yep. Yeah, because she's too big to fly. The only thing she does is lay eggs, and right now she's walking over all this comb looking for some empty cells to lay eggs, and they've already started putting nectar down in here. Okay? So that's, there's the girl right there. So she's actually laying eggs now, then probably. Well, yeah, she's she's an active egg layer. Yeah, but she's looking, she's searching for a spot. Now, what I'm going to do right now is put another hive body on here. Put them around. Do they die off during the winter? Or do they uh, uh, hibernate in the box? 60 to 80 percent of them will. Okay. So you never have to like order more bees or acquire more bees? Oh yeah. But we try to we try to rate, produce our own. Really long. I've gone with the barn. We've taken two semi loads of bees to California. Semi loads. Oh yeah, Brett was telling me about that to uh, harvest on the uh, pollination for almonds. Um, take two semi loads out there the first of February, and we start building them up and and take them into the almond groves for pollination, and they'll actually, you know, you'll take a, a hive in like this that's got this many bees in it. When you come out of the almond groves, you'll have two supers full of bees, huh. two hive bodies full of bees. Right because of the nectar and the flow and the pollen and the queen starts laying eggs immediately. So when we bring these back to Indiana, we have, um, you know, we have plenty of bees to make up for our right. pull out of and make splits and make nukes. Right. And what's we the place our, what we call our dead out.
and so that that hive body then will allow them to produce more bees. They'll expand, yeah. They'll expand right up into there. They'll move right up into that hive, clean it out in no time, and they'll be queen will be laying eggs in there by the afternoon, up above, because they got a room down below. Because of all the nectar. We're boiling out now. We got a hole on the backside. <laughs> Um...